Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. We had a little bit of a hot taste today and kind of a snacks around the world thing too because today I'm going to be tasting some of this Burberry seasoning. Um, this is by the brand Sahadi Gourmet Ingredients, Ethiopian Berber or Burberry seasoning. It's a Watt Spice Blend. And see all this, see this picture down here? All that stuff is up in here, okay? I'm gonna read you the back. I'll just show you the back, but I'm gonna read it to you as well. By the way, I did pick this up at a place called The Pita House, which I will have linked down below. They don't really do website stuff too much. It's mostly, this is from their grocery section side. It's a restaurant that I like going to in Greenville that has like a little shopping place next to it. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, all of the Middle Eastern food. It's so wonderful. Anyway, take it off my glasses because it makes it easier to see close up for some stupid reason. Um, ingredients, paprika, garam masala, which is a mixture of seasonings in and of itself. Uh, salt, citric acid, cardamom, cinnamon, cumin, ginger, hot curry, mm. onion, black pepper, allspice, ground anise, garlic, whole anise, cayenne pepper, coriander, and toasted cumin seeds. So they've got a lot of stuff going on up in this, okay? Uh, nutrition facts, you know, it's kind of weird because it's for a spice. You're not supposed to just be eating this directly out of the container. Um, servings per this package, 120. Serving size, one teaspoon, which is two grams. Calories per serving, five. No fat, blah, blah, blah. 150 milligrams of sodium per teaspoonful. So basically, don't just pour it down your gullet, okay? No carbohydrates listed. No sugars listed. No protein. It's a seasoning, y'all. Yeah. And it does say to shake it up. Uh, what it says? Storage instructions. Keep in a cool, dry place. Keep away from moisture and high temperatures. Yeah. Blend may naturally separate for best results. Shake slash mix before using. Also, packed in a facility that processes peanuts, tree nuts, soy, dairy, and wheat ingredients. So if you have any of those allergies or sensitivities, just don't do that, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you a shake. And I have already broken the seal on this because I opened it when I first got it a few weeks ago and gave it a smell and it smelled really good, but I just didn't have time to fool with it. Okay. Looks just like it does through the plastic package. Nice and red. Oh my gosh. That smells amazing. And part of the reason that smells amazing, I can smell the allspice in it. My mouth is watering, okay? That just smells delightful. It's got a shaker side and a spoon side. So what I'm going to do is, if you watched yesterday's Snacks Around the World, you saw that I had plantains, platanos, and this is nothing but ripe sweet plantain, nothing else added to it, just basically heated up. Um, or fried, essentially. Oh my gosh, can't wait to take another bite of those. But I'm gonna do a little shaky shake on a piece or two of that. That one has a little, those two have more. So let's try the one with a little. Mmm. It definitely adds a savor. Now these are very sweet on their own. That adds such a wonderful savory note. That would be fantastic on a veggie stew, on a vegetarian thing. Like if you're making tofu, dude, takes the bland out of tofu. I'm thinking I've got tofu in there. I really should cook some. Mm. Um, <clears throat> also, I think this would be great on meat. All right, I'm picking up some more off the plate here. That's a nice spice blend. Yes, I'm totally scooping up what's on the plate with my plantain. Mm. Even though there's cayenne in it, it doesn't seem to be cayenne forward. <clears throat> so those of you who are like, must have all the heat, y'all gonna be disappointed. This has a little bit of the spice in it, but it's not about the heat. 
Now, I might find a different story once I try it with nothing else. Close that up so that I don't spill any. Let's see if I can do this without spilling it anywhere. Mm-hmm. A little crunch to part of it. Might be part of the whole star anise that's ground up in there. I'm getting a little more of the heat now. I can feel it. I can feel the cayenne now. But with that little bit of cayenne in there, even somebody who is spice averse, if you're using it on something, sprinkle them on your burgers. When you're making burgers, just to try something a little different. Um, try it with something familiar before you just spring on, you know, here, let's eat all the Ethiopian spice. No. But all these spices together are just warm, comforting spices. It reminds me of the spices that I smell when I eat the kibbe at Pita House. I don't know if that's what they put in it, but I guarantee they use some of the same spices in there because, oh, because I've described that kibbe before. You just break open the end so that the steam can start coming out so that you can eat it this week instead of, you know, next millennium. And you just smell it. And it's just, ah. Oh. <laughs> the people that work there have laughed at me before when they've seen me do that because it is just such an amazing smell. That's what this tastes like. If you're not a chili head, you can still eat this. Trust me. I just put some straight on my tongue. There was a little bit of that heat from the cayenne, but you're not going to be eating it that way. Try some on your burger. Put a little on your chicken when you're cooking it. You know, see how that works for you. You ever see a spice one that you're not sure of? I was pretty sure that I'd probably like this. To me, it was worth the $7.50 investment because this comes from a place that has to bring in stuff from elsewhere. Um, totally go for it. I'm trying to see where this came from besides just the company name. Okay, manufactured and distributed by Sahadi Fine Foods, Inc., Brooklyn, New York, which if you know anything about up there, pretty much every flipping nationality and ethnicity is represented in that area in New York, uh, which is why I would love to just, if I, you know, independently wealthy, hello, um, eat my way around New York and then eat my way around the world, not via New York. Because I want to try all the things. But this, this is getting used the next time I make my meatloaf. Absolutely. And maybe the next time I make burgers too. That just sounds really, really good. Oh, and on fries. Yes. If you have fries, right after you take them out of the fryer, before they have a chance to let all that grease drip off, shake a bunch on there. And I think that that will be magnificent. If you can find this where you are, give it a shot. Or if you can find somebody else making Ethiopian Burberry seasoning, try it. All those wonderful spices all together, freaking delightful. Anyway, that's my hot taste today. Not so hot, but tasty. Hello. <laughs> what sort of spicy or pseudo spicy or you know quasi spicy thing do you like? Or do you not like spice at all? I think that the hubby will even like this on something, not just eating a spoon of it by itself. And he doesn't do spicy at all. He just can't. Um, but this, I think he will find it delicious on the next burgers I make. And he does cook, but apparently he says burgers are magic and I make the best burgers. So I might put that on there next time. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming by folks. Do you like hot stuff? What hot stuff do you like? What's so, I mean, if you're not chili head, you don't have to be a chili head. Do you like something that's hot? Do you like hot wings? What flavor of hot wings? Is it just like standard buffalo or like, you know, some weird flavor combination? I don't know what the heck this was all about. Interpretive dance. It's all good. <laughs> See you very, very soon. Bye, y'all.